The Extinction and Myth of the London Fancy Canary My fellow breeders, get ready to uncover the dark secret of canary breeding. There is one bird that is not just a show bird. It's a legend, a true ghost of the past that has resurfaced. We are talking about the London Fancy Canary, a breed that, for generations, was considered lost, a myth among elite canary breeders. How could such a perfect bird, hailed as the jewel of the British Empire's crown, simply vanish from history? Many have tried to find answers, and the most accepted theory is that the challenges in its breeding, combined with extreme genetic fragility and the difficulty in maintaining healthy flocks, led to the breed's extinction. For many years, its unique traits, such as the perfect contrast between dark and light parts, became nothing more than a memory in old books. But here is the shocking part, the myth of its extinction hides a modern miracle. Through a meticulous selection process, a new generation of breeders dedicated their lives to rescuing this breed from oblivion. The London fancy we see today is a victory of passion and science, a triumph that proves that, even when genetics falter, the obsession with perfection can bring a legend back to life. This video is the map to the mystery of this canary's perfection. If you want to discover the true secret that no one tells you, watch until the end. And if this introduction has already given you chills, subscribe to the channel and leave your like so this knowledge can reach more breeders. The 100-Year Secret How Science Rescued History The London fancy was absent, but it was never forgotten. For nearly a century, it was just a memory, a black and white photograph in canary breeding books. But the passion of a few breeders, combined with the science of genetics, did not allow it to disappear forever. The resurgence of this breed is not a miracle. It's a meticulous process and, above all, a secret of patience and selection. To recreate a breed that was thought extinct, breeders had to go back to its ancestors. The key to this puzzle was the lizard canary, a breed that genetically has the ability to produce intense melanin. The first modern breeders made selective crosses with birds that had traits similar to the original London fancy, using the genetics of the lizard as the canvas from which the new London fancy would be painted. This process took decades. It was a journey of trial and error, of disappointment with every chick that was born and did not meet the requirements. For every perfect bird, dozens of others were needed just to maintain the lineage and vitality. It was a Herculean effort to rebuild a legacy that history had erased. Science not only rescued history but also proved that the obsession of a few can reverse what nature and time have taken. The Mystery of Melanin Why It Defies Genetics I've already revealed the secret of diet and products, but the truth is, they are useless without the correct genetic base. And this is where the great mystery of melanin in the London fancy canary comes in. Its ability to concentrate pigmentation in the horny parts. Many beginner breeders see this characteristic as a miracle, but the truth is that it is the result of a pure and strong genetic heritage, passed down over centuries. A London fancy with a grey beak and legs is a clear sign that its genetic heritage is weak. The successful breeder is one who, through strategic matings and rigorous selection, manages to preserve and intensify the melanin in their lineage. It is a work of precision, where each mating is a bet on the purity of the gene. The key is to maintain a strong melanic lineage, ensuring that the black pigment, which is the breed's signature, does not become diluted over time. It's a balancing act and proof that history and science go hand in hand. The Depigmentation Process a magical transformation? The most fascinating and enigmatic characteristic of the London fancy is its metamorphosis. It is born as a melanic canary, with its flight and tail feathers dark. But, like the phoenix, it transforms. During its first molt, which happens around three months of age, its body feathers, the ones that are not on the wings and tail, fall out and are reborn in a pure, clear color, either yellow or white. This process, which is the breed's signature, seems like a miracle. The bird that was melanic in its nest transforms into a lipochromic canary, keeping melanin only in the marking areas, that is, on the wings and tail. The magic of the London fancy's molt is an experience of anxiety for the breeder, who patiently waits to see if the metamorphosis was perfect. The body's discoloration is a natural and genetic process, but the final result is proof of centuries of genetic work. The transformation is more than just a change in color, it's the revelation of a genetic potential. It's the reason why this canary is considered a treasure. So, the next time you look at a London fancy, remember that you are seeing the result of a process that is not only biological but also historical and magical. The Enigma of White Feathers 
Signs of a Genetic Error We have already talked about the beauty and transformation of the London fancy, but now we will touch on a point that haunts many breeders, the enigma of white feathers. In the world of canary breeding, perfection is measured to the millimeter, and the presence of white or lipochrome feathers in the marking areas, the wings and tail, is a genetic defect that invalidates any exhibition potential. It is a mistake that, despite seeming small, is a sign that the bird's genetics are not pure. For a London fancy canary, the melanin on the wings and tail is its signature. Its absence or the presence of white feathers in this area shows that the gene responsible for the contrast is not strong enough. Think of genetics as a computer program. When there's a bug, the program doesn't run perfectly. In this case, the genetic bug prevents the melanin from settling in the feathers that should be black. Although the bird may have a perfectly clean body and dark horny parts, this single mistake is an immediate disqualification for any competition. The most frustrating thing is that this trait can be passed down to its offspring, perpetuating the error in the lineage. Therefore, a serious breeder knows that these birds, although beautiful, cannot be used for reproduction. The pursuit of genetic perfection requires this enigma to be solved through rigorous selection. The Fake London Fancy How to Identify Fraud In a market where perfection comes at a high price, fraud is a real danger, but an experienced breeder can identify a genetically weak London Fancy Canary right in its first days of life. The truth is that the signs of a fake London Fancy don't just appear in adulthood, they are visible from the start. Look out for these four signs that can ruin a bird's potential. Unpigmented horny parts, a genetically weak chick will not have its beak, legs, and nails minimally oxidized, dark. The absence of pigment is a clear sign of a deficient melanic base. Lipochrome feathers on wings and tail, the presence of yellow or white feathers in the areas that should be black, the wing and tail feathers, is a fatal indicator of poor genetics. Contrast is the breed's signature, and the mix of colors is a serious defect. Washed out plumage color, a top London fancy has a vibrant and intense base color, yellow or white. If the bird's body color is washed out or faded, its genetics are weak. Brown melanic feathers, the most distinctive trait of the London fancy is its intense black melanin. If the wing and tail feathers are more brown than black, the bird does not have the necessary pigment purity. Knowing these signs is your best defense against fraud and the guarantee that your investment is in a true, high-quality specimen. The secret of the underplumage, the hidden proof of genetics. I've already taught you how to identify a quality London fancy by visible signs, but now I will reveal one of the deepest and least known secrets among breeders, the enigma of the underplumage. To the uninitiated, the beauty of this bird lies in its outer plumage, but for a top breeder, the true proof of an excellent lineage is hidden. The secret lies in what is hidden beneath the feathers. A high-quality London fancy, with a pure and strong melanic genetic base, will have a completely black underplumage. Lift the body feathers of your canary and observe the base. If the skin and the down feathers near the body are an intense black, almost like coal, it is an unequivocal sign that the bird has an excellent genetic heritage. This characteristic is crucial, as it indicates a concentration of melanin that is not restricted to the marking areas but is present throughout the bird's body, ensuring the intensity and color of the dark areas. On the other hand, a London fancy with a light, faded, or mottled underplumage is a sign of weak genetics, even if the outer plumage looks perfect. It is a detail that distinguishes true quality from mere appearance. The Price of Perfection Why is it so expensive? After all I have shown you, the history of extinction and resurrection, the science of genetics, the enigma of white feathers, and the secret of the underplumage, we arrive at the big question. Why, after all, is this bird so expensive? The price of a top London fancy can be shocking, but the truth is that it is not an arbitrary value. It is the cost of perfection. The price of a London fancy reflects a series of factors that make it one of the rarest and most valuable birds in the world. First, genetics. As we have already seen, only a small percentage of chicks are born with the exhibition characteristics, and the effort to maintain a pure and strong lineage is an investment of time, money, and knowledge. Second, rarity. The London Fancy is a niche breed, with few serious breeders worldwide. The low supply and high demand raise the price to stratospheric levels. The price is also the value of the breeder's work and passion. It is the cost of sleepless nights, research, genetic studies, and the patience to wait for the molt and see if the result is as desired. 
It is the price of the risk of not being able to produce perfect birds and the price of the experience gained over years of dedication. The London fancy is not just a bird, it is a genetic treasure, a living work of art. And, like any work of art, its value is incalculable. More than a bird, the passion that conquered time. We have reached the end of our journey, but the story of the London fancy continues to be written by each of you. The London fancy is not just a bird, it is a testament to the passion, perseverance, and obsession that defines a true breeder. Its resurrection, after almost a century of extinction, was not an accident. It was an act of love for a breed that was thought to be lost forever. The science of genetics, the breeding strategies, the secrets of oxidation, and the price of perfection are all pieces of a puzzle that can only be completed with one thing, human dedication. For every perfect London fancy, there is a breeder who sacrificed time, money, and sleepless nights. This canary is a living symbol that when passion is true, it can reverse what history and time tried to erase. If this story has touched and inspired you, leave your like to support us, subscribe to the Canero Santos Costa channel, and activate the notifications so you don't miss our next chapter. And now, tell me in the comments, what is the biggest challenge in canary breeding that makes you feel this passion?